about the last question for this video uh, so looks pretty straightforward the table gives the value of the function g for the selected value of x and there is another function fx which is given by this so we need to find the value of the nested function or the composite function f of g of 3 okay what is g of 3 the value of g at x equal to 3 where is x equal to 3 right here what is the value of g corresponding negative 2 so can we agree that the value of g of 3 is negative 2 this means that f of g of 3 will be f of negative 2 because g of 3 is negative 2 so i just replaced this guy with negative 2 and what is f of negative 2 we already know what f of x is all we need to do is replace x with negative 2 so it's going to look like 3 raised to negative 2 you know this x is replaced with negative 2 and then this base x is also replaced with negative 2 so that's negative 2 whole square so it's going to look like 3 raised to negative 2 is 1 over 9 i hope you understand uh, i mean it's nothing but 1 over 3 square if i were to add another step and negative 2 square is just 4 1 over 3 square is just 9 so 1 over 9 plus 4 and 1 over 9 plus 4 is just you know 9 times 4 is 36 36 plus 1 is 37 is 37 over 9 because I've just taken a common I just made a common denominator and just added both of them so the correct answer uh, correct option should be option B yeah Hope this makes sense. In the next video, we're going to talk about multiple choice questions 11 to 15. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.